Welcome to Agile and AddonsModules.com. Agile and AddonsModules.com are developers of a wide range of modules and add-ons for the PrestaShop shopping cart system. This tutorial will demonstrate the ways a seller can be registered in your PrestaShop store using the Agile Multiple Seller Module. In this video, we'll show you the multiple ways a seller can self-register as well as how the store administrator can register a seller in the store. This tutorial assumes you have correctly installed and configured the Agile Multiple Seller Module in your PrestaShop 1.5 store. We begin this tutorial on the home page or front office of your store. We will also assume for the purposes of this tutorial that you have allowed customers to also be sellers on the Agile Multiple Seller Module Configuration screen, shown here for reference, and that you are using the default PrestaShop theme. The premise here is that an individual wants to register to be a seller in your store. To begin this process, the individual will click the Login option in the upper right corner of the store page. The next screen offers two options. One allows an already registered customer to log in, and the other allows a visitor to create a new account. To create a new customer account, simply enter a valid email address in the Create Your Account box, then click the Create Your Account button. On this screen, the individual must enter the mandatory account information such as first name, last name, and password. Other information on this screen is optional. The checkbox for customer data privacy must also be checked. There is also a checkbox at the bottom of this page which allows the individual to immediately register to be a seller if they choose to do so at this time. Check this box now then click the register button to continue. If you have checked the option in the module configuration screen requiring that seller registrations must be approved, shown on this screen for reference, you will be notified of the new registration and must manually approve this registration before the individual can begin creating products in the store. In any case, the customer is now registered and can access their customer account screen. At the bottom of the account options is an option to go to the My Seller Account screen. Clicking on this option at this point will do one of two things, depending on your setting for account approval. If you have account approval turned on, the customer will be shown a message that their seller account is currently awaiting approval. It will continue to do this until you approve their seller account through the back office. If you have account approval turned off, the customer will be taken immediately to their seller account screen and no further steps will be required on your part. If an account is awaiting approval, you must log into your back office's administrator, go to the Administration tab, and click the Employees option. Locate the seller in the listing and click the red X to the right of the seller listing to approve them. At this point, the customer is now a registered seller with full access to the My Seller Account screen. To access this screen, the seller simply logs into the front office as usual. And from their customer account screen, clicks on the My Seller Account option. If a customer who is already registered in the store wishes to become a seller, they can log into the front office, go to their customer account screen, and click on the My Seller Account option. Here they will be told that they do not yet have a seller account, but they can click the Yes, Sign Me Up button. The remainder of the registration process is identical to the prior description earlier in this video.
If, rather than a seller creating their own account, you wish instead to create an account for them, the process is as follows. Log into your back office and at the dashboard screen hover over or click on the Customers tab. Then click the Customers option. You will see a listing of current customers here. Click on the Add New option in the top right corner of your screen. You must enter the mandatory field information such as first name, last name, email address, and password. Do not change or enter any information in the seller drop-down, title, or date of birth at this time. Click in the box labeled Create Seller Account Seller Info. This will automatically create a seller account for this customer. Now click the green check mark radio button for status. This will activate this customer. Leave the remainder of the options at default, then click the Save button. If you have set the option requiring seller account approval, you must now hover over the Administration tab and click the Employees option. Locate the seller you have just created and activate the seller account by clicking on the red X to the right of the listing. Both the customer and seller accounts are now active for this individual and they can log into the front office using the login credentials you entered during the account creation. Once the seller account has been created and approved, the seller should complete their account by adding their business and payment information. This is done by logging in normally at the front office and at the Customer Account screen, clicking on the My Seller Account option. The seller will see multiple tabs on their account screen, Summary, Business Info, Products, Orders, and Payment Info. The Summary screen shows your status and a basic overview of seller activity. The Products and Orders tab will be discussed in another tutorial. Clicking the Business Info tab presents a screen where the seller can enter all their seller or company information. The first section allows a primary and secondary seller type to be chosen. The next section allows the seller to enter a company name. By default, the company name will be the first and last names of the seller. This name will be displayed in the store, on invoices, and other places such as emails. If the seller wishes to use an actual company name for these purposes, they can enter it here. A seller logo can also be set. Like the company name, this logo will be displayed in various places in the store as well as on invoices, in emails, etc. The logo image can be uploaded from your local hard drive by clicking the Browse button. The following fields are for standard information such as address, phone numbers, etc. and are also used in various places within the store. The description area allows the seller to enter any information they want displayed about them and or their company in the store. This editor area allows many options for formatting text, adding images, etc. The look and layout of this block of information is important because it will represent the company and or the seller in the store. The final section allows the seller to enter their geographical longitude and latitude coordinates so their location can be seen on the site through Google Maps. Alternatively, you may also click the button labeled Click Here to get map location in order to retrieve the map coordinates from the information listed in the address fields above. Remember to click the Save button when finished. The other tab we'll mention here is the Payment Info tab. Here the seller must enter the applicable information for any type of payment options they will be using. Unless, of course, the store will be paid directly by customers and the seller will not be collecting funds. If the seller will be collecting payments from customers, or the seller will be collecting payments from the store admin, 
The seller should complete the applicable information on this screen. Only payment options which have been installed in the store will be displayed here. Remember to click the Save button when finished. The store administrator can also enter or modify payment information for a seller for support purposes as an example by logging into the back office, going to the Administration tab, and clicking on the Seller Payment Info option. Your seller now has an account in your store and their account is activated and ready for use. The next step will be for them to start entering products. Find out more about that in our product registration tutorial video. And you can always check out our support and documentation pages on our site for more information. See you in the next video. And thank you for choosing Agile and AddonsModules.com.